So let me speak to the first question. Um, throughout my service uh, in the Senate and before that on the city council, um, I've actively visited schools um, all across Durham County. Um, so I get a chance to see youth um, in, in school settings. Um, and whenever I get invited to activities or events with young people, um, I actively attend those and, and welcome those kind of invitations uh, with young people. So the key for me is going to meet young people where they are, whether that's in school or at a community center or church group, uh, neighborhoods. Um, so that's how I've sort of um, gotten feedback from young people. Um, and then that's for decision making. And, and if there is an issue that's um, specifically around young people, I'll try to reach out to organizations that I know work with youth. Um, additionally, um, this isn't decision making, but we have a page program here, and I've certainly had um, used all my spots for pages for uh, Durham young people to come and serve um, a week here in the Senate. Um, seeing government up close. For the second one, um, as for public opinion and decision making, I'm the kind of person who typically reads a lot. I always sort of boast uh, somewhat jokingly, but but now well, somewhat seriously too, that I read everything that comes across my desk. So, um, so I really like to read and be informed. So whether it's a constituent letter or email, um, I tend to read a lot of the things that come to me and um, uh, advocate an opinion or offer advice on an issue. Um, and um, I'm pretty active on social media. So I'm seeing what people are saying on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, blogs, comments to news articles uh, on news websites. Um, so I read a lot of information and carefully consider uh, all of that um, when I'm considering an issue or before I make a vote. 